A while back, I had somebody post on my Facebook and ask um, for me to make a list of the stuff that I use every day, like my go-to everything or like my favorite of everything. I was gonna do a blog post on it and then I realized like that's gonna take a really long time and I'm too lazy for that. So that'd be easier if I just make a video and I'm gonna try to go through this really, really fast because if I don't, it'll be long as F and nobody wants to sit through that. Let's hurry, let's, let's do this. I'm gonna start with body stuff. Like as far as a body lotion, I use this Jurgens Natural Glow in Protect. It's got SPF 20. Um, I use this a lot, and then I've, I also like to use, to alternate with the Palmer's coconut, coconut butter, cocoa butter. Um, I've been using this for freaking forever, like 10 years. Um, self tanner on days that I am like really just wanting to be tan, duh. Um, Saint Tropez bronzing mousse, my favorite, love it, don't use anything else. Um, I don't know if this is weird to talk about, but deodorant. Um, I use this Dove Glow Go Sleeveless because I think my armpits are gross and ugly and they always like look uneven and whatever. So in an attempt to make them look better, I use this, but they still kind of look ugly. So, but I keep using it because I'm hopeful. Okay, so let's move on to hair stuff. Um, I actually use like a wide variety of things, especially when it comes to like shampoos and conditioners. I'm really like open to pretty much anything. So I'll just show you what I use today. Today I used this, even though I'm not really blonde, but I have highlights, so that's why I'm using this. I used a combination of this highlight activating shampoo from John Frieda and this Go Blonder lightening shampoo from John Frieda. So I used this on my roots, and I used this on my ends, and then I just swish it together and wash my hair. And because this is kind of drying, it probably has sulfates and all that stuff in there, I used uh, this L'Oreal Mega Moisture. This is from Sally Beauty Supply. I've been using this for years and years and years, and I love it, and it's like a really good heavier conditioner. So that's what I use today. As far as styling stuff, I'm not really big on like um, a styling cream or like something that has a hold to it. And these are what I've been using for like the past few months. So I'll just show you these. I did a blog post on this a little while back. It's Cara Color Purify Plus. It's supposed to protect your hair like from um, stuff in your water like copper or chlorine or whatever. But really it's it's a leave-in conditioner, so it's like a light conditioner, that's why I like it. And then I'm like, oh, it's protecting too, so yay. And then in addition to that, I use this Kidoko, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Kidoko um, oil treatment. I've been using this for a long time too. Somebody sent me this a while back and I really like it. I use it the most out of any oil treatment probably because it's light and it doesn't feel like gross and heavy on my hair. Ew, this has hair all over it, I'm sorry. Wet brush, you can use this when your hair's wet or dry. It goes through tangly hair. I like it, it's the only brush I ever really use. It's great. I feel like I'm talking like the micro machine guy. And if you're young, you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but that's what I feel like. Okay, last hair thing, my weave. I usually, I don't have it in right now because I want to show you guys what I do. Um, I usually wear clip-in weave every day. See, here's the little clips. Um, this is from Sally Beauty Supply. I buy two different colors. I combine them because my hair is two different colors and then it looks okay together. And it is Euronext. If you guys want me to do a clip and weave tutorial, let me know in the comments and I can jump on that train. Face care products. Let me tell you, I have very problematic skin. I have acne, I'm old, so I have wrinkles. I I'm just generally have grossness to my skin. So this stuff might not be your jam. This might not work for you. If you're like dry, you're, this is not gonna be great for you. Okay, as far as a cleansing goes, I kind of alternate between two. I use this, I think this is called Adovia Mud Bar. I don't know, I got it at um, cleopatraschoice.com. Just search like Mud Bar. And this is gonna be good for, for really oily skin or um, problematic skin, that'll be good for you. But then I also alternate with this Murad anti-aging acne cleanser. Um, I really like this because it's gentle, but it also has a salicylic acid in it, and it's very specific. Anti-aging and acne, that's me right here, this guy. So this is like perfect for me. Uh, so after cleansing, I have been using this, I also talked about this before, Pixie Glow Tonic. They sent me this a while back. I love it, I use it twice a day, it's badass, it's great, I use it. So at the night times, I do a couple things that I wouldn't do during the day. Um, first of all, I use a eye cream. I don't use it during the day because it doesn't like sit well with makeup for me, So, and I'm just not at that level yet. Um, I've been using this on and off for a while. It's actually, it's probably expired because I've been using it so long, and I don't even know where I got it. This is the Glytone Antioxidant Caffeine Eye Cream, anti-aging eye cream. I don't know, this is what I've been using lately. It doesn't make me break out under my eye. It's not weird, it doesn't get crazy. I like it. 
Um, I also, every night, use my Clearagen Acne Lotion. I love this stuff. Anybody that has acne, like, I highly recommend this. If your skin does well with benzoyl peroxide, this, everything about this. If I do use a lotion at night, it's this Kiehl's um, Ultra Facial Cream Intense Hy Hydration. It's kind of like a gel. It's not, it's not um, really heavy, and so it works well for my skin. So for the daytimes, I do something a little different. I do the cleanse, I do the um, toner, and then I use this Tarte Maracuja Bronzing Serum. It's got like a touch of self-tanner, but then it's also like a serum with good stuff in it. But I'm able to use this during the day because it has a matte finish. And then I top off with this Murad Balancing Moisturizer, which there's like none in here. Um, this has an SPF in it of 15, which the only thing is I wish it was a little higher because I like to, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to look old. So I wish it was a little higher, but um, this is the Pore Reform one too, by the way. It's lightweight, it has the sun protection, it's perfect. This is like my fourth bottle of this. I use this all the time. What minute are we on? Eight million? Let's move on to makeup stuff. Okay, for foundation, I've been using the same foundation for a long, long, long ass time. Um, and that is Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, and my color is medium ivory. Um, this is like a, a heavier finish to it. Uh, I would say like medium to full coverage. Um, I really like it. It's just perfect to me. I, I've tried other stuff. Sometimes I switch, and then I'm like, why did I switch? I love you. For concealer, I go back and forth on concealer a lot, but my favorite probably is the Amazing Cosmetics. Um, it's This is, I think... I think this is medium golden or light gold or something. It's a little tiny bottle, but like this lasts forever and ever and ever. Now, if I have like any evenness to my skin or like I have areas that need more coverage on top of the foundation, and I know this is probably like crazy to you um, if you're like a natural person, but I am not. I like a Studio Fix from Matte. It's like a powder. And, um, or if you just like need touch up stuff during the day. That, I really like this. I just bought this NARS um, translucent it's called Light Reflecting Setting Powder. And this is the loose one. I love, this stuff is great. I really like it. It's just, it takes away shine. It's really nice. It's very soft looking. For bronzer, I have three different things that I use like sometimes together, sometimes just one of them. Um, the Sculptor pen, pencil, whatever. This is from Tarte. It's like a bronzing pencil and it's kind of like a gel where you would just like draw it on. You can like draw on your cheekbones and then blend it in. So if I, but if I use this, I always use it in conjunction, conjunction with a powder bronzer on top of it because I am oily so I want to like set it and plus it kind of just like diffuses it and it doesn't look so harsh. So there are a couple that I go to. If I want something a little darker, I use um, Benefit Hula, which is nice. It's a very matte finish bronzer. So that is really great. I also really like Anastasia or Anastasia, however you want to say her name. I'll use Anastasia because I'm, I'm basic. Um, she has a great bronzer too. This is the darker one, I think. The back has kind of rubbed off, so I can't tell. But it has like very light shimmer. It's not like a glitter explosion on your face. Um, my blush that I use, I kind of go in between two right now that are my favorite, just depending on like what color I want. Um, if I want more of like a very pink, I use the IT Cosmetics. This is called Vitality Cheek Flush matte sweet apple so this is like a super pinky one um so if i want like a lot of like matte color i go to this one or if i want something a little softer and a little peachier this is eddie funkhauser um ultra intensity cheek color and it's called a little toasted so that's just more and it's got like a tiny bit of shimmer but not a whole lot really for eyeshadow i will use anything i don't have a preference i will use drugstore i'll use high-end i don't care it just depends on like what i feel but every day i always use urban decay um primer potion eyeshadow primer every day no matter what eyeliner i always use this gel eyeliner from sephora and it's really worn out and i think it's actually looks a lot different than this now because this is old um it's pretty much a waterproof eyeliner so like if i'm going for a very natural look i'll use this on its own if not and if this is great for like your waterline like up under your eyelashes or like your lower lash line however you want to use it but i use this every day it just gives you like a look of more eyelashes and blah 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 if i'm just going like for a natural look like the I don't have makeup on look, I'll just use this if I'm wearing like more makeup, like a full face of makeup. I'll also use a, um, a liquid liner and I am not really picky on that either. I really can use a variety of those. I don't really have like one I have to use. Um, for eyebrows, 
I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This one's dark brown. Um, I love this because it's easy. It stays all day. It's This is like perfect for me right now for a one-step deal. And the brush is really important because the last time I talked about this, somebody asked me like, what kind of brush do you use? Because I tried to use it with a brush and it didn't work and blah, blah. You need like a stiff brush. This is the Makeup Forever um, 270 is the number on this. It's like the eyebrow brush. Okay, for mascara, um, I'm not super picky. Well, I'm kind of picky on mascara, but I can use like a wide variety. Right now I'm using a combination and they just happen to match. Um, the first one I use is Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. I really like this. The brush is really cool. It gets clumps out. It's great. The other one I'm using is um, Essence, which is a new brand to America. I think it's a British brand and you can get it at Walgreens. Um, this one is called Lash Mania Reloaded False Lash Mascara. This is really great. It gets like all your lashes, but the only thing is the brush is a little pokey, so don't poke your eyeball out. Um, lips. Tarte sent me a ton of their Lip Surgeons lip glosses, and I've been really using those every day. Like, I have a ton of colors. I really, I don't have to have a mirror. I think that's why I like it so much. I can just, because don't get me wrong, I love lipstick, but on like a low maintenance lazy day, lip gloss all the way. Oh, rhymed. My favorite nail polish is from My Girls at Floss Gloss. And this one is called Cone Limon, and it's like this bright greenish, yellowish. I love it, it's perfect. Now just a few more like random odds and ends of my favorite things. Um, my favorite shoe that I wear almost every day, and this is, okay, it's summertime, and this is not practical, but I don't care because it's my favorite. I wear these combat boots from Steve Madden pretty much every day. And this is called Leader, I think, but this is my this is my girl right here. I love her. Purses, I'm very fickle. I have a ton. I have like some more expensive ones, some cheaper ones, some whatever. But my go-to purse right now is this guy because it's it's fringy and it was pretty cheap. I bought it at a thrift store. It was like ten dollars or something, and I can wear it as a crossbody, and it's just easy and dirty but I love it. Um, one thing that I wear every day are my earrings. I've been wearing these sets of earrings for probably like three or four years. Um, on one side, I've got two little like stud, like pyramid studs, and these are from Etsy, and then they have a little tiny diamond on each one of them. And of course, you're supposed to wear them like as a pair, but I don't, I just wear them next to each other. Um, so I love these, I never take these off. And then on the other side, I have, I think these are from like Claire's or something and came in a set. They're just like a little hoop that stays in always. And they used to have a gold finish on them, and now they have a silver finish because they cost like $2. Okay. This has gone on way too long. I'm sorry I talked for a million, million minutes. Um, let me know what your favorite stuff is. If you use any of my favorite stuff, talk about it. See you later.